a welcome to my very first Tupperware party. <gasps> <laughs> I don't follow much of pop culture these days, but when I saw this particular story, it was a bit intriguing to me because this young lady, Ruby Rose, was basically saying that she never had relations with her boyfriend, Drusky or Drusky, however you say it. She said, I only give it up if I'm in love. I don't care how much money a, someone has. I'm rich. He's funny and nice, though. And for the record, I never slept with him. Which is very interesting to me because she openly brags of how much money she's made with her only friends account. And what it basically signals is that it is the end of an era. And because that era is over, there are lasting repercussions. Tupperware, now you're cooking. The party may be over for an iconic American brand. Tupperware, the company that's become synonymous with food storage, now warning it could be headed for a default. Before a time where mothers working online for only friends was normalized, there was a time where both stay-at-home wives and working wives would go to Tupperware parties. And I know this for a fact because I was dragged to several of them. And although it seemed as a great business model, if you will, because many young ladies got together and they spoke to each other and they recommended things to do with these Tupperwares, it basically was an excuse to come together and gossip. And although it worked for a very long time, it doesn't work if you're missing the key ingredient, families. Meats keep meatier, beets keep beatier, chips keep chippier, dips keep dippier. Tupperware freshness, that's our promise. Look at all the ways we keep it. Come to a Tupperware party and see all the new ways you can lock in freshness. At a Tupperware home party. The colorful containers were once a staple in American kitchens. It's direct sales model allowing women to earn money, hosting Tupperware parties for their friends. The home party system was was absolutely the key, the heart to uh, this product succeeding. Tupperware seeped into pop culture from all in the family. A welcome to my very first Tupperware party. You don't have to be Nostradamus to understand that the environment that we grew up in, me as an Xer, is changing quite rapidly. To see iconic brands like David's Bridal go out of business is evidence of that. And so to see a brand like Tupperware go out of business speaks to me personally because I can remember being reprimanded by my mother for allegedly misplacing one of the tops to her prized Tupperware collection. And I remember going to those Tupperware parties with my Transformer and my Legos while my mother had a chance to spend money and gossip with her friends, if you will. And to see that era not only come to an end, but come to an end in an era where only friends is raking in record profits speaks to a quote unquote changing of the guard or better yet a change of family behavior. What's interesting is that even in the presidential debate, there was one term noticeably absent from the whole debate. As a matter of fact, if you search the debate, this term did not come up one single time in the entirety of the debate. The term, nuclear family. Beans, green cheese, teas, potato, tomato, salami, pastrami, jams keep jammier, hams keep hammier, cakes keep cakier, flakes keep flakier, Tupperware freshness, that's our promise. Look at all the ways we keep it. I didn't, is the debate over? Yes, it is. The debate uh, was today, was earlier today. I, I would love for you to make some points that you want to make about the debate, mm -hmm. but I, I just want to say this. If they didn't have any conversation about the destruction of the American family, mm -hmm. which is the reason everything is in chaos, why would I watch this sucker <laughs> The American family is gone. Hmm. Even with the Caucasian man. That's a fact. If we're not talking about the separation of the women from the men, this ain't just black people. This is all the women have been trained to rebel against everything in their insane state of life. There are many reasons why cishet marriages are on the decline. And I'm not gonna talk about all of them, but one thing I do think that has become 
very present to most women and men is that marriage is a safety net for men and it creates essentially a village around him to prop him up and for women it is a risk some of the younger cohorts in gen z they probably haven't even heard of tupperware Today, the company telling NBC, with our independent sales team coupled with our recent expansion into Target and Amazon, we are excited about meeting consumers where they shop. A big change many now hope will keep the company from closing its lid for good. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News. Here, Charlotte Ray makes an appearance in All in the Family. She went on to become America's favorite loving godmother in The Facts of Life as she was the dorm overseer, if you will, making sure to mentor four young girls into their womanhood as respectable women. She then went on to become the loving housekeeper in Different Strokes and the loving mother figure to everyone's favorite character, Arnold Drummond. It's very interesting that this kind of presence is almost now seen as not becoming of a woman and instead the focus of womanhood has become sexual empowerment sexual freedom and forever rebuking the idea of becoming the all dreaded modern motherly figure it's fair to say that tupperware may have had some poor business practices that they didn't foresee the environment changing as it did or even they had a product that was maybe overpriced or not fit for the market that it's in but what if it was a perfect storm that tupperware just wasn't ready for that young people would just stop getting married that more and more young people would cook less that they would see cooking as a form of dare i say servitude if not labor that should be compensated for instead of a loving practice to feed your family and then save the remains so that your kids your husband if you will could take to work instead we're in an environment where a young lady can make a simple TikTok saying i don't like the other half of the gender sex if you will and it's a perfectly acceptable meme the people that were working at Tupperware, as well as a lot of other businesses, probably never saw the end of the family creeping up on us. A realization that has to be made, not just in America or in westernized nations, but more developed nations, is that we are in the age of the post-nuclear family. Maybe there are some places where passport bros can go and find a nuclear family, but we gotta hurry up. Because what's happening now is that many of the businesses that relied on the nuclear family, particularly Tupperware, are going the way of the dodo bird. A man wrapping up the remains of last night's delicious dinner that his wife spent an hour cooking is now seen as a form of servitude that needs to be compensated. And so more and more men who are seeing young ladies who are not only saying they need to be compensated for it, but dabbling with only friends types of entrepreneurial dalliances in their youth and then coming to the table saying oh by the way i don't want to do any of the things that your mother your grandmother used to do more and more guys are saying it's not worth it it's a sad realization but we have to understand we have to see life as it is and not what we want it to be goodbye tupperware you'll be missed thanks for watching like subscribe comment below catch the next video take care guys